I've unlocked the secret to the perfect Google search ad when it comes to e-commerce and Shopify. And in this video, not only are we going to be covering exactly what makes a Google search ad successful, but we're also going to be tying that into how to rank number one and then ending off the video going over a few examples of the perfect Google search ads. So this is one video you're definitely going to want to watch until the end. But let's jump right inside my computer first to go over a few results we have been getting with search ads because at the end of the day the results do the speaking so right here i have a fashion e-commerce brand i'm currently handling under my google ads agency your marketing and we're looking at the last 30 days worth of results what I want to do is I want to look at all of the specific search campaigns, which are currently not branded search campaigns, because we all know inflated branded search campaigns are the reasons why most agencies or most media bars are even able to work with their clients in the first place. So we're going to completely avoid looking at the branded search campaigns, and we're only going to be looking at a dynamic search campaign, which is run within Australia for this e-commerce brand right here. So for this brand, we're seeing that this ROAS is a 23 now of course the overall sales it's not too big of a number it's only three sales but if we now change this to all time we can really see this dynamic cold traffic search campaign in action 86 sales over a period of all time in from 2020 to now basically running at a 38x ROAS and of course there have been roughly 86 sales so the volume it's really not that high but the ROAS really speaks for itself moving on now to another e-commerce brand which we're handling under my Google Ads agency I just want to show you again the overall results with search campaigns we're able to get for this e-commerce brand again looking at only those specific ones which are not branded search campaigns and all of the ones that I'm currently selecting are search campaigns which are not for hot traffic or warm traffic. It's entirely cold traffic. So there's one running at a 3x ROAS, one running at a 2.54x ROAS, another one running at a 2.70x ROAS. And by the way, these campaigns have been running for months and months. And the break-even ROAS for this kind of brand is around a 1.7x. So these are way above profitability and they're doing a decent job with getting overall sales and revenue. For example, this one got 196 sales. This one got 97 sales, 96, so on and so forth. But we're not done there yet because now I want to go over this third e-commerce brand which we're running heavily with search campaigns as well just because search campaigns if you know how to do them right can last you weeks months years profitably and that's exactly what's happening right here so looking at all of the search campaigns which are only for prospecting purposes which means cold traffic only and where you can see one of them is running at a 1x robot so of course it's not always a hundred percent profitability level sometimes you will have campaigns which just don't do well at all but on the other hand you will have campaigns like this is a dynamic search campaign running at a 5.08x ROAS. Moving on now to the final example because this strategy we've implemented across multiple brands and it just has proven itself over and over again. So right here we have a normal search campaign just for a specific collection within this e-commerce brand and there's two different search campaigns actually going on right now. One is running at a 2.79x ROAS, the other one at a 10x ROAS. And again, when you change it to all time, you can really see the overall effect of these search campaigns and how they are performing compared to these other campaigns running at the moment. So if we kind of just change it to all enabled one so we can get a better look, we can see exactly which are the search campaigns. So these are the ones right here running at a 3.21x ROAS, 3.55x ROAS. So the list goes on and on. The main thing you need to understand is how to effectively launch a search campaign and also how they even work in the first place. So let's start off talking about what determines Google ad success specifically for search campaigns because if you're one of the OG followers and you've watched my other videos on how to rank number one with shopping, you already pretty much have an e-commerce brand that's crushing it with shopping ads. It's now time to scale that to the next level with search ads. So there's a few different things which determine the level of success you get with search ads. Number one, ad copy. Number two, landing page experience. Number three, the CTR. Number four, it's the search last IS rank. Number five, of course, the bid. Now, a lot of e-commerce store owners, what they think is that the bid is the most important thing and they just kind of leave it off at that. They just try to bid as high as possible. And it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to understand that 
as you start to bid higher and higher, it slowly starts to eat into your profitability. And as a result, you end up with a highly unprofitable ad account. So let's go over each of these that I mentioned in great detail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside this one specific search campaign and start off by talking about the ad copy. In this case, the ad strength, because when you go to the ad section, as you see here on the screen, we can see that there's a very special column right in the middle which says ad strength. And when you read it, what it says is that this column essentially is an indication of the relevancy and diversity of your ad combination and having more relevant and unique content can help you get the right ad in front of your customers and improve your ads performance that's literally all you need to be getting from this section right here it's all about the overall relevancy of the ad and also the content itself within these ads these two things determine how your ad copy ranks amongst your competitors and for your products in general. But one thing you wanna understand is I don't really pay attention to what it says right here, if it says average or not, because I mean, it can say below average and it'll be very profitable with the search ad. So kind of take this section with a grain of salt, but what you do wanna understand is what I just read within the ad strength section, which is relevancy, number one, and number two, the overall content within the ad copy itself. You need to make sure you're including your SEO keywords within the actual ad copy, and you need to make sure whatever you include within that ad copy is very relevant, because this ad strength section, whether you really look at this average point or not, this is important in general and you need to have a very strong ad copy in order to have a ctr that's at this level i mean a 9.74 percent on a cold traffic campaign just let that kind of soak in 9.74 percent if this were facebook ads this would be like a one percent or a two percent but with search ads for cold traffic if you do things right you can achieve a nine percent ten percent so on and so forth CTRs for your ad copy. So it's very important that you really focus on that relevancy portion as well as the overall content that's within the search. And moving on now to the landing page experience. I mean, this is pretty much self-explanatory how your landing page is after somebody clicks on your ad. That makes the whole difference between somebody buying from your ad or somebody not buying from your ad. And obviously, Google's algorithm or just about any platform you use, landing page experience is one of the most important things these platforms use to gauge how good your ad copies are and how good your ad is in the first place. Because I mean, you can have a 10% CTR here, but if nobody's buying, then that's a direct indication to Google that, hey, this e-commerce brand is probably not doing something right and we should probably stop trying to promote this e-commerce brand's ads more to its customers. So that's when things really start to take a downturn. But this kind of brings me to the third point, which is CTR. Now, CTR obviously is gonna be influenced directly by your ad copy. So that goes back to the first thing we talked about, which is the ad copy and the ad strength itself. Make sure your ad strength is good, not in terms of this value right here, but in terms of what your audience wants. Are you using the ad copy words, which your audience would want, or are you just using some random words, which you personally think are good for your audience? That's really important to do proper audience analysis with search ads to rank number one. Moving on now to the fourth metric, which is the search last IS rank. Now, to view this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the campaign's overview dashboard, and from here, you need to add that column in. So if you haven't already added that column in, you won't be able to see the search last top IS rank or this search last IS rank sections. You need to be able to see it because they tell you a lot into what's going on within your search ad. So first of all, search last IS rank and search last top IS rank both of these numbers it should be fairly low in this case we can see this one is 77 percent this one is 82 percent that means a lot of the impressions we are losing currently because of a low quality ad rank or just a low ad rank in general but again this is kind of where it gets into the gray area because despite losing so much of the overall impressions to ad rank we're still very profitable with these campaigns. So it's kind of like a gray area where you need to focus on this to the point where you're not overdoing it because as long as you're profitable, these are secondary metrics. They should not be the first things you look into. So here, 77%, that just means our ad rank is possibly low. We need to improve our ad rank and it tells you exactly how you can be doing that because it tells you how this metric is even calculated in the first place. So it says how often your ad didn't show on Google search sites 
due to poor ad rank and it determines your ad position whether your ad is able to show at all etc etc so to have a good ad rank what you need to be doing is you need to have a very good ad copy you need to have a good landing page experience with people going onto your landing page and actually staying there and not just bouncing off you need to make sure that your CTRs are on point, you're bidding high enough. Of course, we're not really bidding as high here because the bid, even though it's a dollar fifteen Australian dollars, it's not really high compared to what the competitors are doing here. So we're not able to fill our full ad spend, but that doesn't matter to us because as long as we're profitable, that's really what makes the biggest difference. But again, you want to keep this metric in the back of your mind when you're doing optimizations and really try to get this number as low as possible. And one more great way to to lower your search lost is rank is by just having more search engine optimized keywords on your landing pages so that when google's algorithm crawls through your landing page it knows exactly what you're selling and then can tie it to this search campaign you have running at the moment but of course this brings us to the final point which is bid now nowadays i really like to kind of work with smart bidding for search campaigns and if you notice i run a lot of dynamic search campaigns compared to just collection based search campaigns or the individual product based search campaigns we just find better results with these for a majority of the e-commerce brands we're handling which if you're currently doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen but as you can see right here we're running this search campaign on maximize conversion so because of this it really determines the bid on its own we don't have a direct say into it we just tell it what target cpa we want and we only do this because we have enough data to support this number right here but that's essentially what we're finding the most amount of success with but that's what you should be doing for bidding now how to rank number one what do you do exactly so let's go ahead and go on over to isearchfrom.com because what i want to do is i want to search up one specific product to go over with you guys and for the sake of this example what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretending we're looking within the united states market for language we're going to be doing english and we're in the market to buy some biker shirts so i'm just going to write in biker shirts right here because what we want to do is we want to now open up this specific page and look at all of the different search campaigns coming up so there's a few different things a good search campaign should have but before we go over them let's scroll down and look at some of the search campaigns coming up so i'm just gonna keep on scrolling until i find something that's really ideal for our example right here now i'll get back to you guys once i find something so i have already found a specific search campaign it is this one right here it's a search campaign because it says sponsored right here by a website called skullwriters.com now let's go ahead and analyze this search campaign and really understand what should be the main thing that brings the search campaign to the very top of the listing versus what brings the search campaign all the way to the bottom so let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time first of all the overall size of the search campaign now if you're one of my again og followers you know that with shopping campaigns it really is beneficial for you if your search campaign is using all of the different things that google merchant center offers like the reviews like any types of promotions like with shipping promo codes so on and so forth the reason why we do that not only is to increase more trust with our customers but also to appear bigger because i mean this ad right here if, uh, unless you kind of hover over it, it appears fairly small compared to this one right here so really size matters when it comes to google ads and don't take it the wrong way you pervert normally the bigger the search campaign size the better it is this means if you want to be ranking number one with google search ads you need to basically be using as much of the character length that google gives you when creating your ad so for the titles make sure number one of course it's search engine optimized with the right kind of keywords within the actual title but also make sure it is big enough and using every single possible character limit i mean this title is so big there's a dot 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 here because the title goes on so that's a very good thing skull writers did right here but in addition same strategy for the description side of things use every single character length possible and make sure to make it search engine optimized you need to have seo keywords in there to really get the best bang for your buck now after you have optimized this after you have possibly used all of the potential character limit then it's about adding these links right here extensions as you like as google likes to call them you need to have different extensions like for example this says shop protective clothing about us why our products collections login faqs so on and so forth so extensions 
they need to directly be related to your product and the specific keywords you're ranking for. So if you're selling biker shirts, don't have extensions which say like, for example, we sell oranges or we sell apples. Cause I mean, biker shirts, somebody typing in biker shirts is here to buy a biker shirt. They're not here to buy fruits. They're not here to buy 3D printers. So you need to make sure your extensions are relevant to what you are selling. And the main thing you need to understand is with the extensions, the more you talk about your brand, like about us, why our products within them, the better it is. So you want to link to them directly. But to kind of summarize, if you have a very powerful ad copy, that's not only powerful in terms of the copywriting, but also with the search engine optimized keywords, your landing page experience is above and beyond. It's something somebody in the biker niche, for example, would absolutely love. And your CTRs are high and you are constantly optimizing your CTRs by excluding bad keywords, so on and so forth and also through your actual ad copy. And if you follow that with focusing on your search last IS rank, making sure you're working on your search last IS rank by having the right kind of SEO keywords within your ad copies, within your landing page, so on and so forth, while combining that with the right bid for your search campaign. And of course, with bidding, if you do manual bidding or maximize clicks, it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to understand what the right bid is. But on the other hand, if you just go with smart bidding like target CPA or target ROAS, that's really gonna help you use Google's algorithm to your advantage and potentially get as close as possible to the perfect bid. But if you combine all of these things, that's when you will be able to get your search ads ranking at the very, very top. And that's when you'll be able to get consistent scale with them. Because trust me, based on the results I went over in the beginning of this video, search ads work, they're amazing, and they can get your results for weeks, months, sometimes even years. But if you would rather get help with all of this and you're already doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But I want you to click this video right here to learn more about how I cracked the Google Ads algorithm to understand exactly how it works and how I'm able to scale e-commerce brands past $10 million in revenue because of this.